In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We gather uh, this Sunday as we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. The celebration that reminds us of the love of God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, the divine three persons in one God. Let us call to mind our sins that we may worthily offer this sacred mystery. I confess, Almighty God, God, unto you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May the mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us now join the angels as we sing the Gloria. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Our summer response, glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice, mend your ways, encourage one another. Agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus. (laughs) Christ. I welcome you, my dear brothers and sisters, to this celebration 
of the solemnity of the most holy trinity the most holy trinity god the father god the son and god the holy spirit in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen i don't know how many times we make the sign of the cross a day but i would imagine that every time we gather in prayer or every time we choose to pray before an activity we begin with that sign of the cross we sign our soul in the name of God the God in the three divine persons God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit every time we gather on a Sunday like this one and profess the creed our faith I believe in God the Father creator of heaven and earth and Jesus Christ is only begotten son I believe in the Holy Spirit so this day reminds us about the unity that exists between God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit God who is the creator God the Son, who is the Redeemer, and God, the Holy Spirit, the Sanctifier. Last Sunday, we celebrated the Feast of Pentecost, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. After Jesus was done with his ministry and his mission, he promised to send the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, who will comfort, who will guide, guard, and protect the Church. And the apostles as they continue the ministry that he had started in them he sent the Holy Spirit to remind them about why he came for so God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son it was love at work the love that God chose to send his only begotten son to suffer to die on our behalf it is the love that exists between god the father and god the holy spirit and god the son and god the holy spirit that unity in our world today more than ever we need to pray for the unity in all our differences in all our uniqueness we have been created in the image of God we've been created in the love of God one of the saints who tried so much to dig into the mystery of the Holy Trinity is St. Augustine St. Augustine who thought he had a very bright mind thought he would dig into the understanding of this mystery of the Holy Trinity but he wasn't able but he writes and says that you can know the Trinity when you see love that when there is love there is the Trinity that is what we see that the relationship that exists between God the Father God the Son and the Holy Spirit is the true love of God God is the lover God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son he loved and loves you and me not because we are perfect not because we are very powerful he loves us because he has created us in his own image God the lover God the son the loved we share the love of God through his son Jesus Christ when Jesus says I don't call you servants anymore I call you friends and indeed we say 
we are brothers and sisters in Christ. Because he loved us. The love that he shared from God his Father is the same love that he is able to pass on to us. And God the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit is the real love. It is love itself. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us celebrate this day. Let us understand, not with our minds, this mystery, but let us be able to understand this mystery with our faith. It's only by our faith that we can know this mystery of the Most Holy Trinity. The oneness that we celebrate, the unity that we celebrate. Unity and strength is strength. If we have to survive and if we, if we have to succeed in anything, it takes everyone being drawn to the same mission, being drawn to the one table and be able to accomplish and be able to succeed in that one mission. And the mission is none other than the love. The mission is none other than the true peace, the joy that we all desire. St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, the second letter, he has encouraged the Corinthians about how they should conduct their life, of how they should live among each other. He has encouraged them to continue what and in doing what they know is good. He has prayed for them. He said, greet each other with a kiss of peace and love. Where we are, how much are we trying to bring about that love? How much are we working, able to work towards bringing about the true love and the unity? Because each one of us has to make a contribution towards that. Each one of us has to be able to work towards bringing about that love. No one should be left out. In our world today where we are, we need each other more than ever before. When you know that someone loves you, they may not be physically present, but the mere fact that you know they love you it brings about fulfillment and it brings about that inner joy. I know I cannot see you physically right here where we are at St. Mark. But I can feel and I believe that you are there. Think about those people who love you. Think about those people who have nurtured that love that you have which you cannot take for granted. Somewhere I read and it says that love is like a seed. Love is a seed. And if you want it, to, want it to grow, make sure you take care of it. The seed of love of God that has been planted in each one of us. We have to allow it to grow. We have to give it a nice place where it can grow. We have to take care of it. We have to work day and night to make sure that it does not die. Today we are used to more on, on online and everything, shopping online, or even praying online. Of course, we cannot have confessions online, you know that. Buying online, meeting online. You know, online is so trendy today. Being online. What is that that keeps us so connected as a family of God's children? What is there that even when we are so much of a, in a social distance, 
we can make sure we must maintain without any lack of connectivity. That's why as I speak right now, we make sure that you get this message right to where you are in the, sense, in the way that it is delivered, that we are connected, we are all together. Even in this pandemic, as we are trying to work towards coming out slowly, we all need each other. We need to make sure that we follow those steps that have been given to us in a very careful way, in a very loving way, because it is going to determine of how we succeed. So we have to stay connected. And what connects each one of us? It is God's love. For God loved the world so much. He loved us beyond limit. He loves us and he will always love us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Shall we rise, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we profess our faith? I believe in one God, God the, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, Consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. And in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will lie in glory. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. God, our Father, here we come before you with these, our humble prayers. Our, our response today is, hear us, triune God. Holy God, may the church through Pope Francis, our bishops and our priests, continue to ponder and teach the mysteries of your love. We pray, hear, hear us, us triune, triune God. God. Father God, May world leaders be guided to work in harmony for peace among nations and ensure that all the people they serve are treated with equity and justice. We pray, hear, hear us, child of God. Son of God, empower those who are consumed with anger and hostility that they may fully live in a spirit of love and compassion. We pray, hear, hear us, child of God. God. Spirit God, teach your children to always act justly to all in their lives. We pray, hear, hear us, Triune God. God. Ever living God, comfort those who are sick or battling disease, especially the coronavirus, that they may know the healing power of your spirit. We pray, hear, hear us, Triune God. God. Immortal God, Lead all those who have died, especially those we remember this weekend, to everlasting life with you, we pray. Hear, Hear us, trying God. God. Loving God, may all the prayers in our parish book of intercessions and all those prayers we hold in our deep in our hearts, that they may be heard and answered, we pray. Hear, Hear us, trying God. God. O most holy trinity, one God, yet three persons, you are the mystery in which we live. Teach us to always be faithful witnesses to you, proclaiming the good news in many ways throughout our day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, 
in Christ. At this moment is when we offer our prayers and offer together with our gift during the offertory. We thank you for your generosity in supporting our church in the times where we are. And we continue to encourage you that as we do the best, let us everyone do whatever they can in continuing this financial uh, material and in every way support that we always need as a church. And may God continue to bless you for your generosity always. Thank you. Brethren, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty in God's salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God and one Lord not in the unity of a single person, but in the trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, Cherubim, two and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, 
so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come to we pray that partake in the body and blood of Christ, it may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and very your bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, O the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph as spouse, and the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have preached this world ages, who may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As the Savior has commanded from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the hope of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we believe that Jesus Christ is present. That because we are unable to receive Jesus Christ in the sacraments, let us take this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present. I believe, I believe that, that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. In the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to possess you within my soul. And I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I'm unable at this moment, since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally. To receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there. I embrace you as being already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to thank you for participating during this celebration of the Eucharist and a happy feast to everyone. And I'd like to thank you for all your generosity and support. And please don't forget to share with your friends, share the news, the good news with your friends and uh, family as much as you can. And for any information, uh, keep visiting our website at uh, Catholic Church of St. Mark in Virginia Beach, and you'll always get handy information uh, as far as uh, things are concerned. We hope to continue praying with you as far as we can, as much as we can, and let us pray for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. God the Father give you his strength. God the Son give you his Holy Spirit. And God the Holy Spirit fill your heart with his love. So may the one God continue to bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.